I created the UFC 303 card, but I made it better. Let's be honest, this original card is bullshit. I replaced the fights that I considered bad with fights that actually are going to happen in other events like Chimaev against Whitaker, Ferguson against Chiesa and of course the real fights of the event like MVP against Gary and the main event McGregor against Chandler. Actually there are some interesting fights on the card but the fighters are not in the game. Let's see if the AI of the game can predict the fights with accuracy. We are going to start with a fight between Johnny Walker and Volkan Ozdemir. The fight started and Ozdemir landed an overhand that wobbled Johnny Walker. Later he landed a combination that sent Johnny Walker to the canvas. They were exchanging punches but the one who fell to the ground was Walker. And at the end of the first round Ozdemir simply finished Walker. Ozdemir kicked Johnny Walker's ass, delivering a knockout in the first fight of the event. The next fight will be between Macy Barber and Rose Namajunas. The fight started with Macy Barber striking Rose cleanly. In the second round, Macy Barber landed a combination that sent Rose to the canvas. Barber had incredible timing and managed to send Rose to the canvas again and almost finished her. In the last round, Rose managed to make a takedown but Macy did a reversal and finished Rose with Grand and Pound. Macy dominated Rose Namajunas and takes the victory. Coming up, we have a Russian heavyweight fight between Alexander Volkov and Sergei Pavlovich. These two wasted no time and began to throw power punches. Pavlovich was trying to take Volkov to the ground, but he managed to get up quickly. After that, Pavlovich landed an overhand that sent Volkov to the canvas. And that overhand landed in Volkov's face once again, but in the second round, this shit happened. Missed with that right hand. Volkov landed a right hand that knocked Pavlovich out cold. In the next fight, we got Corey Sanhigan against Umar Nurmagomedov. Corey landed a spinning back fist that wobbled Umar. In the second round we didn't have much action, but in the third round the fight became good and Umar landed an overhand and a kick that made Corey go down. After that Umar landed a combination that knocked Corey down again. But at the end of the fight Corey and Higgin connected a good combination that sent Umar to the canvas. To end the fight, Umar goes for a takedown, but Corey finished the fight on top and won the fight for the judges and took away Umar's undefeated record. And now we will have a crazy and unexpected fight between the old Nick Diaz and Vicente Luque. Let's see what happens. Wait a second, little bro. If you like my content and you are not subscribed, I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot. Nick Diaz slapped Vicente Luque's face and also made a cut on his eyebrow. In the third round Vicente landed a combination that wobbled Nick. After that Vicente smacked Nick again but this time he fell to the ground. But Nick got up and landed a left hand that sent Vicente Luque to the canvas. The fight went to the judges and Nick takes the fight by a close decision. For the next fight we have the former flyweight champion Davidson Figueredo against Marlon Chito Vera. Davidson Figueredo tried a quick takedown, but Chito Vera called him in a guillotine that Figgy easily escaped. The first round was boring as fuck, they were literally on the ground the entire round. The second round was better and both fighters were exchanging punches until Chito Vera landed a good combination and then a left hand that knocked down Figueredo. On the ground Figueredo would try a guillotine but Chito got out. In the last round these two were sending shots again, but Chito was landing the best strikes. Chito tried to stay on his feet, but Figueredo took him to the ground again. Figueredo was losing the fight and needed to submit Chito, but he managed to escape once again. The fight went to the judges and Chito Vera defeated Figueredo by unanimous decision. It's Tony time, bitches! Tony fights again and we hope he doesn't get his ass whooped and he will face Michael Chiesa. The fight started with Chiesa trying to take Tony down, but he tried a guillotine and Michael transitioned into a side mount submission, but Tony reversed it, showing a beautiful sequence. After that, Michael put Tony on a crucifix where Tony received a lot of damage. 
Michael was still controlling Tony and did a leg lock that decreased Tony's submission health. Tony tried a dark choke, but Michael escaped. In the third round, Tony tried to keep the fight standing, but Michael was still taking him to the ground. On the ground, Chiesa tried a Kimura, but Tony denied it. Michael finished the fight on top and takes the fight by decision. At least Tony didn't take so much damage. And now we have an interesting fight between Ian Machado Gary and Michael Venom Page. The fight started with a flying elbow that wobbled Ian Gary. Ian was looking to do a lot of combinations and working the legs a lot. In the second round, the MVP legs were almost destroyed. After that, Ian Gary landed a combination that sent MVP to the canvas and then sent him again to the ground with a kick. In the third round, MVP landed two kicks that knocked down Ian Gary. And then this happened. Ian Gary completely fucked up Michael Venom Page's legs and takes the win by TKO. For the next fight, we will see the former champion Robert Whittaker against Hamza Chimaev. Chimaev started the fight by trying to take Whittaker to the ground, and he tried a submission, but Robert managed to get out. Robert was trying to keep the fight on his feet, but Hamza was taking him to the ground again. Chimaev tried a submission again, but this time he did damage to Robert. In the third round, Hamza landed an overhand that knocked down Whitaker. But Whitaker responded with a hook that wobbled Hamza. And Robert hurt Chimaev again. With one minute left, Hamza landed a body shot that sent Robert to the ground, and this happened. Until Chimaev defeats Robert Whitaker in the third round with Grand and Pound and wants the belt. But now it's time for the main event of the evening between Michael Chandler and the notorious Conor McGregor. Let's see what happens. Michael came out very aggressive and landed a combination that wobbled Conor. And also was trying to take down Conor, but he defended well. Michael was putting a lot of pressure on Conor and got a knockdown and these two were exchanging fireworks in the center of the octagon. After that, Connor landed two uppercuts that hurt Chandler, but Chandler responded with an overhand that wobbled Connor. And now look yourself the crazy ending of this fight. McGregor landed a head kick and then a flying knee that knocked out Colt Chandler. Oh, surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! 